Welcome to part two of the Dragon Iconics build. I won't spend a lot of time talking about it. Let's just get back to work. These back pieces are the same thing over and over. The part numbers just change. These larger pieces were a little tough to put together because the spikes were hitting each other. It lessened the space I had to work with, but still not that hard. The spaces between the parts here seemed to be a little tight. I had to twist the ends of the tabs to get them to fold inward. Otherwise, they just rammed into the other parts and wouldn't bend. I took a lot of time trying to fit parts and adjust tabs and shapes. Every now and then, parts just slipped off. And now on to the legs.
One mistake I made here in part 6 that I did not catch until later is that I should have bent the center of the parts upwards a little. These leg parts are tapered which can be tough to shape if you do not have something exactly the right taper. I use the best tool I have and then coax it the rest of the way with tweezers, round nose pliers, or my fingers. It may not have the right shape once the tabs are connected but you can still work with it to straighten things out or curve them as the case may be. The bead was to help shape the part initially, but it will need some touch up. I decided not to do the touch up until it was time to connect the parts when I see what I'm dealing with. I bent the tabs on the top of the foot inward, which put them in the way of fitting the leg on, so I bent them outwards instead. I also had to flare out the ankle for the tabs to line up.
This video has been edited down. I've not shown all the different attempts, adjustments, or retries of this build. I also clip out parts where I am studying directions, searching for and clipping parts, and sometimes repetitive steps. It may make this kit look like it comes together easier than it did, but there are a lot of bending and adjusting of parts to make things fit. Work slowly, be patient, and take your time. I decided to try and shape this one just by hand.
This one tab was sort of in its own way and needed some coaxing outwards to go into place.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Silver Iconics Dragon. I built my own dragon, and I did it with my own hands. Well, with instructions. Still, it's really awesome, and I look forward to finding it its own place of honor, because I don't think this is going to fit with a lot of the other stuff, except for maybe the Harry Potter. Now, there's a lot of repetitive steps, as you can see, the, doing the, the, the body of it. It's just the same thing over and over. There's just different sizes. It took about six hours, which really doesn't seem that long. It didn't seem like it took a long time. I was kind of surprised when I counted up the video and it had been that long. But it is well worth the effort. It's fun to build. It's not highly frustrating, so you don't even really, or I didn't even really notice the time going by. It's a dragon. It's awesome. Big wingspan. Rather large. I really like it. Why not? It's a dragon. What else is there to say except that maybe I'll be building a red one in the future? Ever heard of Peace Cool? Anyhow, stay tuned for that. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you for watching, and keep on keeping on.